is our first view of Shasta. It's oh kind of hard to see, but it's covered in snow. So what do you say to that, Mike? Woo-hoo! <laughs> our line of packs for... How many people do we have, Rick? 16. 16 people? Yeah. We are in search of Hidden Valley, which is our base camp, and there are some skiers up ahead. And right now we're checking our map because we can't find the aptly named Hidden Valley. I don't know if you can see it, but this view is amazing. What altitude are we at right now? Eight, seven, eight We're at 8,700 feet right now. We need to get to 9,400. Right but these skiers may know where they're going, so we might follow what they do. So we made it to Hidden Lake. We found it, and now we're going to set up camp, go to sleep really early, wake up at 2 in the morning, and climb up through here and then up to the summit. I can almost see it That dream I'm dreaming But there's a voice inside my head saying You'll never reach it Every step I'm taking Every move I make feels lost with no direction My faith is shaking but I again. gotta keep trying. <laughs> gotta keep my head. I saw you put your knees up. That's good. I tried. Yeah. How are your frog talks doing? I think we've figured out our route. Probably be going straight up that mountain. It's 5.40 and we've been hiking for since about uh, 10 to 3 a.m. And it's the climb. We've got to get it's the climb. up through that saddle right now and go a lot farther after that. Starting to feel lightheaded, but I didn't that. Spirits are good. The struggles I'm facing. What? That's insane. We have at least at least three vloggers on this trip. How times change in two years. I'm not breaking the pain I'm knowing. But these are moments that I'm gonna remember most yet. Just gotta keep going. So it's taken us six hours to get to this point. Yeah, six hours because we left at 2.50. And that hill that's behind me, I don't know if you can see it, no, I'm probably not, it's brutal. So at least now we're on the sunny side, we've got to put our sunscreen on. I'm just feeling some lightheadedness. We've had a few little um, senses of altitude sickness, but not too much. And we'll see if we can make it to the summit. Just getting here is impressive. So we made it to the top of the West Face route, and there's our connecting route to Misery Hill. You can see the people on there. Then you have to cross over, and there is the summit. And I can see little people up there. We're so incredibly close. That's the summit right there. So we're just covered with this gleaming snow. Almost, almost to the top. My son's down there with a couple other scouts. There's Joe coming in. He made it. Devin's up there. He's decided to go straight to the peak. Nine 
knew it didn't look like he was going to make it. Yeah, he came up oh, and at, just after the red ridge there, we went to the lower ridge. Um, and he looked like he was about to pass out. So you can see the clouds down below us. We lost. Had a little bit of attrition. A lot of altitude sickness. But we made it, and my son made it for the first time. I'm so proud of him. Can you look at the camera? How's it proud of you, honey?